In this video, we're going to learn what is MSP, that is Minimum Support Price System. What is it meant for? And are the farmers really benefiting from it? And finally, I will tell you who all actually benefit from it and how it increases the government's budget deficit. The government of India has ensured MSP, that is Minimum Support Price, to be at minimum 1.5 times the cost of production across all commodities. So here's the list of three essential commodities whose minimum support price, in other words, the rate at which government of India procures these three items, have gone up year after year. Now let me tell you something about MSP. Even if the government increases the MSP, it is not necessary that the farmers are actually benefiting from it. And I will tell you why. See, it is very simple. MSP means minimum support price. It is a system that was introduced in the country to protect the interest of the farmers in general. Under this system, even if the price of a crop falls in the market, the central government will buy the crop at a fixed MSP from the farmers so that the farmers are not going to go in losses. The price of any crop decided by the central government as an MSP remains the same all over the country. Now what the government does is, it purchases those crops which are under MSP. The government procures it from the farmers and stores the grains in the warehouses or godowns of Food Corporation of India and National Agriculture Cooperative Marketing Federation of India. From there the government distributes these grains to the poor through the public distribution system, which is basically your Russian shop. Now what you have to understand is that the government of India does not have enough warehouses to store grains. That means the government of India has a quota, only that much will be bought. Because anything more than that will be a problem. Where will the government store? Now let me explain with an example. Let's say the government has set the minimum support price of maize in the country at 1850 rupees per quintal. One quintal means 100 kg. So the government has declared the price at 1850 for 100 kg of maize all over the country. But if you go to the local sabzi mandis of different states, the actual rates are very low. It ranges from Rs. 800 to 1200 per quintal. And if you look at the report of the Commission for Agricultural Cost and Prices, the cost of cultivation of maize per quintal in the country comes to roughly around 1213 rupees. That means the government has set the procurement price at 1850 and the minimum cost of production is at 1213. But in reality, the local sabzi mandi of different states are paying anywhere from 800 to 1200 rupees per quintal. You can clearly see a loss, right? The same problem exists with other crops and pulses too. So the main point is, even if the farmer gets the government rate, they are happy with it. But the farmers are not getting that price. Because the government's approved MSP is not considered by the private wholesalers or traders of the APMC yard. On the other hand, the farmers have already invested effort, time and money bringing their produce to the market. So it also doesn't make sense for them to go back without money. So what the farmers do is, they sell half and they keep the remaining half in a hope that when prices will be right, they will sell it. Or in some cases, a farmer sells all of his produce at a low price. That means the farmers are very much happy with the government rate but they are not able to receive the benefit. Why? Because the wholesalers or the middlemen, they are adjusting the price. So on one hand, the problem with the government is that it has less procurement centers in the country. And on the other hand, due to the fear of crop deterioration, a farmer is forced to sell crops to the middlemen at a lesser price. Sometimes even the middlemen pay less for the crop value on the basis of quality factors so that he can make good profit on it. The government of India has also realized that increasing the MSP is not the solution. That is why the government introduced new farm bills, through which it is expected to create an open market for interstate and interstate agricultural trade and bring freedom of choice for farmers. The new legislation allows the farmers to sell the produce directly to any buyer and the farmers can also continue selling it to local mandis. Because the fact of the matter is that if government keeps on increasing the MSP, there will be rise in the prices of food grains. And you have to understand this. Food grains should be cheaper because they provide the industry with raw materials. I'm not saying keep the farmers poor and buy crops at a cheaper price. You have to come up with some mechanism through which food grains has to be cheaper because they provide the whole food industry with raw materials. And at the same time, farmers should also get reasonable price. 
And if you see, the only way that looks possible today is by opening the agricultural market to private sector. Because like it or not, the private sector has the money. And I also understand that there are concerns when you let private sector enter. Because we have to understand a simple fact that capitalism works in a certain way. It has its own way of getting things done. And the most essential feature of capitalism is to make profit. In a way that is true with everything. Even the farmers wants to make profit and live a good life. So what I'm trying to say is that the vision has to be clear. And the way to reach that vision can be negotiated by going a little here and there. And the vision is to open the agricultural market to the private sector. Simply increasing the MSP is not the solution. That will cause inflation in the food industry. Every year, the Indian government spends billions of dollars on buying millions of tons of rice and wheat from Punjab and Haryana. It is the world's most expensive food procurement program. After buying rice and wheat from farmers at MSPs, the FCI, which is government's main procurement agency, sells the grains at highly subsidized prices to the poor. The government compensates the FCI for its losses. The government has a limit. It cannot overbuy grains, plus the cost behind all this pushes the budget deficit. As I said, not all farmers benefit from the government. Consider this as a safety net. When FCI purchase grains from farmers, it is basically a safety net. Since the government doesn't have enough storage place, only few farmers get to benefit from the safety net. Largely, it is the rich farmers. Due to their political connections, they get to avail the benefit of government safety net. And it is a fact that every year, farmers from Punjab and Haryana sell almost the entire produce to the FCI. This way, farmers from other states do not get much benefit from the government safety net. So there has to be some mechanism to control all of this and also the inflation rate. This way, the government will be happy, farmers will be happy and the economy will recover from its budget deficit. I hope you have understood everything about the minimum support price system.